Hey there, everyone. This is Calvin Bip Six, and we're starting World Six. It started out okay. There's water here. Is this like water in the town? Maybe it'll lead somewhere. Maybe yeah. This is this big old lake, the Battle of Red Cliffs. That's a like Romance of Three Kingdom thing, isn't it? Wasn't there a level about this in like that was very similar in terms of aesthetic in Jump Half? Actually, looking at this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, that was a really bad move on my end. I'm not sure what I thought was gonna happen there. I was distracted looking at the kind of amazing background going on here with all the wooden ships on fire. I can just walk through here. There, there we go. There's the plan. Alright, well, here we go. We got ships on fire. How about yours? Uh, I got an apple, it tastes great, so 400 seconds, not that huge a place. Yeah, like, it's kind of weird how you can just walk through these, and it's like, well, I did it. I walked through a thing, no Dagadon, I remember, yeah, there's nothing on the map. Like, some, there's just, there's just an eye, it's a, almost the rare level where there's nothing next to the level name. Except, we've got science to learn, look at this big funky const- oh! <laughs> Oh, that's cute. It shoots arrows. They're arrow shooters. Okay. Gotta stay appropriate to the era, after all. Otherwise, people will make fun of you and your inability to digest potatoes. I shouldn't make fun of that. That would be a really unfortunate thing to have. Look at that guy, though. Mona is so happy to be spreading joy. Just a local firestorm going on here. Look at those heavy clouds in the sky. This big old shade of gray. That's right. Bob that guy. Oh, that's a trap. 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 You know what? Science. Putting a science here. Because I know this is a trap. Oh my gosh, it's a trap! As the handsomest man of the Three Kingdoms once said, You see? See how much kinder I am than Kume? Yeah, Kume's trap. No, I, I ain't gonna fall for that, Jack. I knew it. I just wanted to showcase it. I just want to show the world. Wow, I just jumped up here in case of Invisible Blog, and that saved me from Firebolt. Fireball! There we go. Boom goes LARPing. Alright, so, <laughs> I don't know what anything means. Just a little fire. What? Oh, I am completely missaying my spin jump. That was real- Oh, what? Oh. And I was so concentrated on the fireball up there, I didn't see this little guy just casually, like, slide through the wall there. I guess once you beat the level, this can be the world's slowest life farm, where you just return, get the one up, and... Dude, I keep leaning over to the left more than I need to. Like, you know, like I try to like spin bounce on something and I'm just... I'm just not, not, not quite centered. Um, alright, I, I mean, I have a history of auto-correcting and that's probably just what's happening. It's fine. I, I wonder if, you know, the good times I had with the first half, though, were due to the fact that I was pretty powerful. So let's just go here. Maybe I'll get a chance, yeah, see? To reclaim at least part of my power. This is a cool shape there going on. I like it. Here we go. Cool my and a cool one up. There we go. Get your green apples back. Granny Smith was the key to the war, as everyone with any sort of interest in history will ever be able to tell. Oh, that guy almost fell on me. You know, when that guy's been cooked alive, he's having a good time. Uh, fire's kind of an annoying place, though. So I wanted to destroy the fire with an old man, but an arrow got in the way. This boat shape is making less and less sense, but it's fine. That fish is excited. You gotta put us up to jump. There we go. L rules of man. Rules of land. Rules of Acapulco. Don't wear a shirt if it has a nose on it. Yeah, it's just weird, you know? People will be like, well, I mean, you're on a vacation. Why would you wear your nose shirt? That doesn't make sense. Leave your office back at home, you jerk. And there you go. Then you get yourself Fire Festival 3.9. This time, more printing machines are available for everyone. So I'm using this tactic of tactic, yeah, this tactic of just standing there 
for a while, and then things kind of work out. I don't know. Ooh. This is a secret way to figure out if something has something, you know, without just checking. Look at that, I got fire! My fire burn even through water! Whoa! Arrow. I just jumped in that arrow. I just, I just, I just jump all the time. Oh, is this a generator or are they placed? They are placed because they stopped coming. Okay, so you just got like bullets that were placed on the map directly instead of being on the generator. You can do that. I missed the flame, but I hit the goal. <laughs> what a funny little level. I liked it. I feel this level's placed here because it fit well on the map and not necessarily in order to follow a difficulty curve, but that's good! It's good to have a weird curve. Like, it's good to have momentary uh, relaxation in the river. Level set in a historical battle that took place in 3rd century China, perhaps more popularly known for being fictionalized in the novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Kume was a military advisor, was also at the battle, and is in rom hacking a meme for traps that snare the unobservant. It's likely that the person speaking in the text box is Zhao Yu, was portrayed in the novel as Kuma's ever envious, en envious, sorry, rival. So, sure, I did it. Let's keep to the water up the river. There's the stash. Cut the stash. I don't know what that means. Oh, whoops, I could have read the text here. I forgot. Cut that stash. Well, we're not on the river. Alright, well, I mean, okay, before we do anything silly, there's not a whole lot of other options. That is some eye-searing eyeballs. Hey, we're okay, so grinder, that's why. Head up! Got it! So we got Kirby and the music. That's fine. You can go here though. You want me to head up, but there's a VIP coin right here. So a vertical swimming level that burns your eyeballs and cuts your mustache. Alright, okay, I get it. Timer is where it's at. Yeah, yeah, it's... I don't know why they chose this this beautiful palette. Yeah, I I thought... Oh, shoot. Okay, well, you're just dancing. Saw blade, here we go. These guys are dancing, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them dance. Ain't no problem with that dance. Oh, that fell! So you need to hurry up to get the prizes. What a weird behavior. I do not know where it's from. See, I feel like you don't put blocks pedal metal like this other than because, yeah, like you're setting up some kind of embuscade. What's up with me just using absolutely incorrect English and pronouncing things in French and just being weird today? I don't know. You know what? Sometimes that's just what it feels like. It's gonna you do this thing where you just kind of go up and stuff. Like There's a good point there, though. And then you go like, yeah, well, you know what? I got the coin. I got a big purple coin up there on my HUD. I could get blue money. If I could get blue money, I didn't expect the sauce to do that. I really didn't. All right, I'm gonna stay above you there, saw blade. You can't do anything to me. I don't know where I wanna be. Down here, there's coins, in case you didn't see them. So, this is a slight nightmare. Very slight, though. Very subtle. Do you, like, go down again to that mid midpoint? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm heading in that midpoint. So that pipe is the respawn pipe, probably, you know? I'm using my experience as a VIP novelist to figure that one out. Yeah, this is the one you want to go into because there's money in it. Got is sliding here. And here's our friend the Disco. I'm not getting myself shrunk for a dragon coin. That's ridiculous. No. So, this level will remit VIP incomplete, and that's fine. I'm not- I'm not doing it. It's not worth it, man. See, things are being thrown at me. I want my apple bag, but I'm not. See, I would've died here, and I would've had to reset everything anyways, so I feel like I was justified. Here's a piece switch for my trouble. I don't know where I'm gonna use it, though. I guess I can use it to swim a bit better. Oh, shoot. Yeah, saws that fall through the world like that, to me, is weirding me out. Like, I don't get that. Like, where where does this come from? 
Uh, oh boy. Okay. Uh, I pilot... Like, I don't know if it's a layer thing? That doesn't make any sense. Maybe they're... They're line guide saw blades? Could be. Well, I'm hearing some kind... So, yeah, so the reason why I'm... I'm dropping my... Oh, shoot. I might be dead. Oh, I would have been okay if I didn't do that. So the reason why I'm dropping my P-switch all the time... It's very simple. Uh, see? We're missing out on this. Good morning for that. Uh, I have more control over myself. Like, straight up. If, um... If I let go of things. Alright, so we gotta redo things. It's fine. It's okay. We got a sharp thing. So now I could get the VIP coin, but it'd be completely meaningless. Oh, video game. You are who you are. And that will never be stopped. So, yeah. Oh, okay, so there I got lucky because it just kind of bounced back there. So this guy there, okay, if I go here, yeah, but that doesn't protect me from there. Yeah, you know, like, when you just got shoved things, you got things shoved in your face like that, it's, it can be pretty hard. I'm going to try to press it now and see if that does anything for me. Well, created a platform here, okay, maybe it's supposed to... Oh, it blocks enemies in it something smart about that. Alright, so now I'm in position. Be safe up here. Yeah! <laughs> That's me. Okay, then I can, like, sink here. Oh, man, I should have been able to place myself. Failure of personal proportions. Big. So this time I'm gonna do this. Knowing is have the battle. Oh, these guys kind of fell off there. Whoa. Okay, well, this is happening. You're having fun. Yeah, yeah, now that it's there, I can just hurry up. And look at that, if you just hurry up and get in the pipe, you hurry up and get in the pipe. And if you hurry up too much, the bar goes slightly out of reach if you're small. Oh my gosh, it's a saw blade attack right at the end. It's blue. <laughs> This is so weirdly peaceful. I mean, it wasn't easy, uh, but, like, it's very ambushy. Cut the stash. If the level name seems odd to you, considering Boon doesn't have facial hair, then maybe worth explaining that the VIP hacks in Japanese are released in two versions, one with sprite changes and one without. Thus, some level contributors assume that a player character will be Mario. What a funny note to put here. I love it. Feels like a terrible idea to do this now, but I haven't played a full session yet. But it's one more leveling. It's a bit six. Dude, learn your lessons. Cow, cow, learn your lessons. No swim. I'm swimming. <laughs> I went in the water and I swam. <laughs> Dragons and humans cannot swim in the water beyond. Those who wish to proceed have the option of flying or walking on a sea floor. Oh, so those are the two exits. Alright, so I'm going to take your word for it. I'm going to use the cape you just gave me. Fly. I'm not... I'm not... Yeah, see? Yeah. Oh boy, yeah, so... These bubbles are actually enemies. I should have kept flying way high in the sky. Those ribbons of coins... Just kind of dangling about. Yeah, that's a trap. Because they halt your progress, and if they accumulate enough. But they didn't put a ceiling. So you can just, like, stay way up here. And not to have much any trouble. Like, yeah, you're not getting any of the delicious gold, but you win. And I feel like that might be more important sometimes. It's good to be greedy for some specific things that I agree with. Greed for anything else is a bad. Now, such uh, the sweet park. Of, wow, that one is completely bare. All right, let's walk on that sea floor. Let's play jump half some more. <laughs> hey, look at that. And here I get a proximate, very easy two feathers because I repressed the green switch. All right, so yeah, we're gonna have yeah dealing with underwater stuff. But I'm not using water physics. Whoa! I mean, look, back in the day, 2000, like a billion years ago, three years ago. Yeah, 
that would be pretty impressive. My gameplay, that wouldn't impress anyone. We can get electrodes and get locked in. It's pretty fun. You get to eat. Oh well, the electrodes like no son. This is my apple now, and I'm not even gonna eat it. I don't want it. I'm not hungry. I just want it so you don't have it, really. I should have just, like, released my feather and not take a risk. But this is the cost of deciding to remove the red switch from corporations. Well, this is a silly little obstacle course that, yeah, like... Well, um, I feel ridiculous now. How does this work? Well, you just wait for everyone to just kind of align nicely and then you can go. It's easy. Uh, okay, yeah, here you just jump straight up. They don't really look like urchins, They're just a big goofy face. Kind of look like a duck bill a little bit. You can do some kind of urchin jump or you can just be smart and do that. It's your choice. Uh, okay, if I go here and I jump on top of you, yeah, you won't have a chance to respawn, so... That's taken care of. I don't know if this is passageway or if this is, like, a special zip zone. Yeah, it's a special zip zone. Put it in your zip zone. And, like, to eat zones, we call it a cow zone. Check it out! Midpoint! Ah, oh, that's so nice! Yeah, zwee! Here we go! It's dark now, it's night now, in the water. I don't know what this means. I guess it's a silver P-switch if you got the red switch. You can get rid of Blooper that way. Why won't I get rid of Blooper? He's a cutie. And he's a family man, too. So, this is kind of a jump here. Okay, that worked out. Uh, uh, uh. Then we're down here. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I just sat there and let Blooper take over my life. As you do. Oh, shoot. Yeah, uh, that was dumb on my end. I, I don't know why I thought I'd have enough room to exist there small. Clearly, I was wrong. But now we get to experience these islands and that very obvious cutoff. Oh my gosh, this game will never be complete forever. Alright, so let's do this again, except this time with crunch berries. Alright, we can do that. Family blooper! Like, yeah, like, Mario won. Well, lost level, strictly speaking. I made it clear that, canonically, you can jump on a blooper if they're outside of water. As ornamentation. Alright, this feels pretty bad. Here you go, son. You are strictly decorative. But I hope you're okay with that. Why well, you don't? Oh gee. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm just, I just do not have fear for these bloopers. I'm sorry. I'm gonna bounce on these notes now. Whoops. See, I'm way more dangerous to myself than bloopers. That's a fact. All right, look at that. We're up. Uh, trying to understand what I'm seeing here. Ew. Yeah, that's a. Uh, that's. Whoa, yeah, what is going on here? I want to be stopped. Oh, uh, shoot. Okay, ah, nah, whatever. I, uh... Oh, really? I could've, it was, uh, 50-50. Like, they try to get to you, so they'll move, like, right underneath you if you're... If you position yourself right. That way I don't lift off. Uh, I want my feather on, not just for the help in the jumps. It's mostly because if I get hit, it, uh, takes slow, like, it takes faster to get. So I guess the rational way to do that is this thusly, then, yeah. Okay, and the, the fireball at the bottom could be considered, like, maybe some kind of trap. I don't know, precision jumps here for no reason. It happens. 
Don't ask us why. <laughs> Sometimes precision jumps just kind of happen. I wonder if you were expected to like bounce on the squids for this. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe like summon a missile and keep following it. Also maybe. I'm on a bridge. There's happy fish. I'm now a wetty and of the world. Thank you for cooperation. You may now swim again. Oh well thank you! <laughs> Even that is kind of a jump, jump path fish and just like giving this weird not really in universe explanation. Oh, yeah, there's getting to be a lot of bubbly things here. Everything is slowing down. Everything's just going and through the motions. So we're just gonna take our time. Let all the bubbly guys go away. Oh, generation tonight. Let's get an extra room. Or at it. I feel like. We're just back in a mid-game. Like, World 5 was just like this weird nightmare, but that was temporary. Now we've escaped the nightmare storm, and we're back in this nice little, I got two choices to make mid-game lake town here. Doesn't it? Does it feel like that? It feels like that to me, the one playing at least. 